A new Netflix series has managed to unite nearly all in universal condemnation. It's gone at the worst Rotten Tomato score I've ever seen. We're talking about Queen Cleopatra, which is produced by Jada Pinkett Smith, who is fast becoming the least popular personality in Hollywood, which, when you consider the competition, is quite an achievement, really. Is that like a personal attack or something? Much fuss was made in the media about casting a black actress to play Queen Cleopatra. This has been covered more times than a Hollywood red carpet event at this point, so I'm not going to tarry on the subject for long. Saying Cleopatra was a black woman is like calling Jada Pinkett Smith a loving wife. The show has much deeper problems than casting, which I believe are more pertinent and have been largely lost in the noise. So join me on a journey as we explore the real reason for the show's failure. Before we delve deeper, I would just like to ask, if you're enjoying this content, please consider giving it a like and a subscribe. As a new content creator, the start of growing a channel is the hardest, and this helps me massively to continue creating the sort of content like this. Thank you. The show spectacularly stumbles straight from the outset. If it had been historical fiction like 300, The King or The Patriot, you have a certain amount of leeway when it comes to accuracy. As an example, HBO's Rome was cut some slack with its depiction of Cleopatra as a sleazy, dissipated drug addict. Netflix, though, has targeted the genre of historical documentary. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. This immediately requires a level of authenticity, with information being factual and as unbiased as possible. Meanwhile, Netflix's approach to historical accuracy was... How about new? There's a clear agenda from the off which flies in the face of history. The portrayal of Cleopatra has been warped to fit the narrative of the showrunners. She's an all-conquering superwoman who can do no wrong. The series falls slap bang into the strong female character trope so prevalent in Hollywood. The show is at pains to state that she ruled with unparalleled power and bowed to no man. It's certainly ironic then that the first half of her reign featured her tumultuous co-rule with her brother and the latter parts relied on two men maintaining her power, which doesn't really fly with the series opening statement. There is a bizarre scene where Cleopatra is depicted as being trained in what looks like a gladiatorial arena in Syria. There is no historical basis for this and I can only imagine it was done to fit modern trends. She would have had an in-depth education, sure, but single combat likely wasn't on the curriculum. It's disappointing. I wish they had taken a more accurate and respectful approach to Cleopatra's story. It's important to remember that she was a remarkable figure in history, but she was also a complex individual with strengths and flaws. It's a shame that the showrunners chose to ignore these nuances and instead opted for a one-dimensional and sensationalised portrayal. And now onto the talking heads that provide the so-called historical grounding for the show. To give you a flavour, examine this clip. I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school, Cleopatra was black. A documentary cannot be using someone's grandma as a source and expect to be taken seriously. They come across more as fantasists rather than serious historians who are again pursuing a particular agenda. Looking at their credentials, it doesn't inspire confidence either. They even refer to Rome as emerging power. Ancient Rome in this period was not an emerging power. Rome had already won both Punic Wars and was the dominant force in the region. So their input is not only biased, but often incorrect. The historical accuracy just gets worse as the show progresses. The costume design falls short from his historical perspective too. Every Roman character in the show inexplicably wears leather wristbands. Roman artwork and historical references do not depict Romans wearing such items. They should not be in a historical documentary. Moreover, the placement of the Roman sword, the gladius, is also inaccurate on the rank and file soldiers. They traditionally wore it on the right due to having a shield on the left. These may seem like trivial details, but in a documentary aimed at educating viewers, authenticity and accuracy is crucial. Otherwise, the show just feels like a cheap and low budget knockoff. More like a historical LARP than a well-funded documentary. Just like the historical accuracy, the acting and dialogue is disappointing too. The interactions between the characters are marred by an excessive amount of drama, yet at the same time lack any meaningful depth. The dialogue itself occasionally borders on unintentional comedy, which is further exacerbated by exaggerated performances. It is challenging to determine whether this arises from inadequate direction or a deficiency in acting prowess, but undoubtedly detracts from the overall quality of the show and adds to the cheap feel of this documentary. And the backing music well, it's an odd choice. Instead of opting for music that could complement the historical setting, the show incorporates an odd selection that to me almost sounds like American rap music. The mismatched musical choice contributes to a jarring and disconnected viewing experience. For me as a viewer, it ruined the immersive atmosphere that one would expect from a documentary of this nature. In a nutshell, there are controversies surrounding the whole blackwashing issue, but for me, they're skin deep. The show's biggest problem it faces, and the real challenge lies in its overall quality. It's like the series is trying to find 
find its place, but it ends up stuck in this weird gap between being entertaining and historically accurate, doesn't fully embrace the juicy soap opera style elements that keep audiences hooked, nor does it provide that level of historical depth that history enthusiasts crave. It's a frustrating lack of coherence, to be honest, which sinks the show. Moreover, it claims to be a documentary, but its objectivity is seriously questionable. The whole show seems more interested in pushing a subjective agenda rather than presenting an unbiased view of events. And you know what? That really undermines its credibility. As viewers, we start questioning the accuracy of everything we're shown. The lack of balance and objectivity in the show further diminishes its ability to give us a comprehensive and unbiased exploration of Cleopatra's story. I want to see a more nuanced approach that details both her flaws and strengths, giving us a well-rounded understanding of her as a historical figure. But unfortunately, the show fails to deliver that. Whilst this isn't a review, I will say avoid the show. It isn't a good use of your time. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. And if you did make it this far, please consider giving me a subscribe. And that's a wrap, folks. Time for you to go on your merry way and for me to figure out a way to get my time back after watching those four episodes.